All right, getting started, we're going to talk about the fundamentals and principal logistics involved in buffet and station design. First, I want to talk about the flow and the logic of a buffet. Of course, we're going to start with our plates, and then we're going to go from the least expensive to the most expensive items with our action stations at the end, if we have them. In this case, just a couple of small details. If we had cold food, we would have started here with our cold food and perhaps uh, we would set it up into an ice bane and make sure that the food is kept at temperature, especially when you're dealing with outdoor functions. We're having, uh, for example, our starches and then chicken and steak in this particular example, but the idea is that the flow of the buffet is working in general terms from left to right, but in many cases it's not going to work that way because you may have a room and a space layout which you need to adjust. But well, okay, here's the detail. Underliners under utensils always. Underliners under condiments always. Food signs are very important, especially on self-service buffets or assisted buffets. You must have some way to indicate what people are going to be enjoying, primarily because of all the allergies and dietary restrictions available these days. Okay, so you see our flow here, very simple, and finishing with our silverware at the end, and that's for the convenience of the guests. Okay, next point. I wanted to talk about plates. Hot food hot, cold food cold. Now, if you want to make a hot plate and you're an off-premise caterer, here's a simple street savvy technique. What we're going to do is we're going to take a foil pillow set up our china plates into a triangle or even a rectangle and then we're going to put sternos which are essentially a canned heat source which we're going to light those up and then foil covering and then about 15 minutes later you'll have nice hot plates so when you serve hot food hot plates cold food cold plates okay let's go back into showing a couple other details sterno sterno should be lit at least 30 minutes prior to putting the food in it's very very important 30 minutes prior, but first you must put water in the base pan. Quick technique, using an insulated carafe, you can pour the water into the base pan. And this way you have hot water and you're going to go ahead and pour this into the base pan. Now as far as the quantity, you want to pour about a thumbnail deep or a half inch. You don't need too much water. In fact, too much will take too long to fill it up. So using an insulated carafe is great for drop-off service because you're ready to go. It's sealed, the water won't drip, and it's hot and it's ready to go and it won't take very long for the sternos to heat up the water. Because essentially what we're using is these chafing dishes to keep food hot on a buffet. In most cases, there are other formats, but for today's purposes we're talking about using chafing dishes. In fact, I do want to take a moment to go over some of the standard equipment involved in buffet and station service. So let's walk you through some of these items. Here is a butane burner. Very simple. Using a can of butane, it's put in here. This should line up. Use this lever to lock it in. Make sure that you don't hear any sizzle because obviously you don't want butane spraying around. It's a major fire hazard. Now some locations won't allow these, but many still do. So ultimately, to turn this on, you just click here and you have flame. Now there are other styles that do not have open flame if you have those restrictions. Now this is a butane burner casing. Um, some people still call these Rashads, which is a technical French name. But this is the casing, which simply works with the butane burner, which you would basically just put this inside for a very aesthetic presentation. It's also great because these grates will make the pan more steady on, on top of the burner. Okay, this next piece of equipment is a samovar, commonly used for coffee service. It works well with canned heat, keeps the coffee hot. It's to replenish, you simply pour it in using a coffee server to keep it full. Now, moving on, we're going with a marmite. A marmite essentially works well for soups, sauces, all sorts of stocks and so forth for food stations. You're going to see us use these a lot. This is a marmite. This one here is an air pot, also used for coffee, hot water, or beverage service. This will keep it hot, but not quite as long as the Sterno Samovar will. Now, small pan is used for omelets. This one is a copper skillet. We use this for many different applications. Here is an old style of chafing dish, and I wanted to make a quick note that if you're working with chafing dishes that have separate lids, to make sure when you remove the lids, that we're watching for condensation so that they were dripping back into the pan, okay? So what we don't want to do is lift the pan off and drip water all over the linen. That was exactly what I was trying to avoid. So again, your sternos are in your chafing dish 
heating up that water for 30 minutes before the food goes in. Now you have that steam. So when it's time to put the food in, you want to make sure you drain the water into the pan before you move on. Okay? Great. And lastly, I wanted to point out a carving lamp. Please know that when we're asking for the carving lamp, we're looking for a heat lamp of this sort. You're probably going to need a lead cord, multi-plug, whatever it is that's going to help us get it done. But now, as far as a carving set, a carving set is only complete with the fork, the knife, and the steel. also want to show you a bain-marie. Now, this essentially is a simple uh, piece of equipment that we're using to maybe in, keep ingredients cool, maybe to keep sauces hot as well. You can have this for hot or cold applications. I like to keep my utensils at a station inside of this. Okay, this really works well. All right, so when I get ready to close the scene, I wanted to say that this DVD is going to showcase so many of the fundamental things that everybody has to know in order to provide a flawless and execution of buffet and station service.